Today we're taking a look at Milwaukee's new wet dry vac tool attachment storage bag. These are awesome bags. Just gonna say that right out front. Awesome bags. If you have the Milwaukee wet dry vac, highly suggest getting one of these bags. They are amazing for holding the tools. So let's go over what these bags can do for you. At the time of this video, I purchased each one of these bags for about $69. If you're gonna get Milwaukee's attachments, which you will if you get the if you are getting the bag, you pretty much are gonna be buying the uh, air tip tool attachments. Get the I suggest getting the uh, combo kit where you get a couple crevice tools and a brush attachment and you get this bag for I think around 119 ish uh, give or take a few dollars that's a good investment for you if you are buying the air tips and you want to get the bag too highly suggest doing that combo route let's take a look at these bags these these bags actually hold a lot of attachments so this one holds nothing inside. Actually, I have one inside, which is the uh, power vac, which we will take a look at. We're going to take a look at that in another video. This video is just going to go over the bag. Then I'm going to have do a bunch of other little videos that's going to go over all the attachments that Milwaukee has in their air tip attachments that are out. Nonetheless, we're going over the bag today. This bag is made out of a tear resistant material. It is very durable. All the zippers are metal on here and they zip very nicely. And there are two sides to this bag. We'll open up the one side and in this side, you have a zipper on the flap where you can pull little attachments that you uh, will get with your other air tip tools. And this side is mainly for like crevice, your crevice tools. And actually you can pretty much put any of the attachments in here. And they have little Velcro flaps in them. So you can, you can lay them down. These you cannot move around on this side. But if we go to the other side, zip this up. Okay, on this side, you don't have a zipper on the flap, but that's okay. You have all these other Velcro sections that you can take out and you can fully customize this side. The black one actually has a spot where you can Velcro the grays and you can kind of go long ways and then attach them. Whoops, I got it backwards because this side doesn't. One side has Velcro, this side has Velcro, and this other side does not have Velcro. So you can set this up and kind of customize it to how you want. So you can have like little, little compartments and whatnot. And then you can have a big compartment for uh, your, your bigger heads. And then if you have leftovers of this, you can also put, flip, flip this around and put this in, put these in the uh, zipper bag on the flap. There's quite a bit that you can get in here and it has two nice handles. Now these these are little hooks that will hook onto your vacuum so this uh, bag will sit very nice on it and it's not going to go anywhere. Something that I noticed on here is that where the hooks are there's little I don't know if you can see there are little loops in the sides of the bags it got me kind of wondering what are those for what could you use them for and with the air tip tools the attachments they sell air tip kind of hose kit for getting in small areas, cleaning out your furnace, cleaning out your lint trap on your dryer. But what these side loops are for is this all, th this comes in a bag, but 
if you don't want to carry that bag around, you can take the air tip tools, the hoses, and you can slide them on the side here and it'll hold these hoses on the outside of the bag. And there's different sizes for each one of the hoses. So your smaller ones will actually slide in, in here. And I haven't done this on the new bag very much. So it, it the first couple times you, you do it, you'll have to mess around with it and get it in there, but it holds them. So that way, if you're vacuuming, you need these, you can pull them right out and use them. And then you can just keep this attachment for the uh, hoses. You can just keep this inside the storage bin. And then you don't have to worry about having these inside the, the hoses inside the storage bin taking up more space. I thought that was kind of just like a little, little touch that Milwaukee did there. And I don't think a lot of people know that those little loops are on the back and they're also on the back side too. So you can put them on the back side if you want. You can put them on the front side and they're really nice. This whole kit basically of these tubes, you can fit them all on the bag on the outside. And then that way you don't have to carry around this bag that Milwaukee gives you. But it is a really nice bag for these tools. That is just a little taste of the tool attachments Milwaukee has with their air tip selection. How many tools can you actually get in this bag? How many air tip tools? Well, let's set this one off to the side and let's look. This is my bag that I keep almost all the air tip tools that are out for Milwaukee. And you can almost get them all in the bag. There's a couple of them that I don't have in the bag, but that's okay because they're just different versions of some of these uh, accessories that they have for the air tip tools. And so this is the top. We're gonna open it up and we're gonna see, and we're gonna lay out all the air tip tools that are in it. All right, let's start with the zipper section. And yes, it, it, this one is kind of crowded, but it just shows how many you can still get in here. And you don't have to have them all in here, but I just wanted to see how many you could actually fit in here. So in the zipper section, we have, we have the little attachments that go with a couple of the air tip tools. It's a couple of those. Okay. And that's all I actually have in the flap. Let's count how many air tip tools we have in this bag. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five. This goes with that attachment. Six, seven. Okay, so we got seven in the top. And then this one, I actually have my, the bigger like floor attachments in. So we have the power head. We have to make more room here. We have a brush head. It's nine, 10, 11. And then we have the dust collector. So we have 12 attachments that we fit inside the bag and that's not including the uh, tube attachments. 12 just inside this bag. That is, that's crazy on how many tools you can fit just in this bag attachment wise. And you can take them with you when you are using your wet dry vac and keep them stowed right on your uh, wet dry. I was just really amazed on how many air tip tools I was able to fit in here. I, I was only thinking I was only going to be able to get like four or five on in each side of the bag. And I was, surprisingly, you were able to fit more. 
We're gonna go over this in another video. We're gonna kind of split this the attachments up into like probably two or three videos because there's just kind of it's kind of overwhelming with these attachments. We'll probably do one that goes with crevice tools, one of just floor attachments, and then do another one with miscellaneous attachments like the dust collector for cutting in to drywall and stuff. If you like this video, you know what to do. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Do so. I'm Philip Bridges and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.